Things are getting intense. As 3i Atlas dives toward its closest approach to the sun, the timing couldn't be more dramatic. The solar maximum is in full swing, and our star is already at its most volatile in over a decade. In this video, we're tracking everything that's happened over the past few days, from 3i Atlas's tail suddenly changing direction, to new images showing a jet blasting straight toward the sun, to the moment it appeared on a solar coronagraph for the first time. We'll also look at why ESA spacecraft, Hera, Juice, and even Europa Clipper are now preparing to pass through its tail, and why NASA-backed International Asteroid Warning Network quietly launched an investigation after 3i Atlas began displaying unusual behavior. The updates in this video are recent and come directly from observations, research papers, and mission data, with respective links in the description. Not speculation, no fear-mongering headlines, just the extraordinary reality of what's unfolding right now in our part of the solar system. 3i Atlas is now on its final descent toward the sun, approaching perihelion on October 29th. What makes this moment even more remarkable is that the comet is arriving during the solar maximum, a period when our star is at its most active. The sun's magnetic field is flipping, sunspots are multiplying, and eruptions of plasma are more frequent than at any point in the past decade. For most solar system comets, this would be a volatile environment. But how this interstellar visitor reacts to the sun's flares is something we're about to find out. And the show has already started. 3i Atlas is dramatically jetting off ice and dust into space, a new image shows. Early observations of the interstellar object revealed a rare and striking feature an anti-tail, a stream of dust and gas that appeared to point toward the sun instead of away from it. Now anti-tails are not unheard of, and have been observed before, dating back to at least 1974 with observations of comet Kohutek. But observing the comet before it went out of view from our perspective, scientists found that the anti-tail developed into a tail in September. Spectroscopic observations suggest that carbon dioxide is the main driver of the comet's activity. Astronomers think the tail appeared later than expected because the comet is releasing large, heavy dust grains that drift away very slowly, taking more time to be pushed outward by sunlight. Recently, independent observers began noticing something unusual in our solar coronagraph data. Amateur astronomer Warshape Boonplod first spotted what looked like a faint moving object near the edge of NASA's C-Core 1 footage. Soon after, independent analyst Stefan Burns, known for his detailed work with solar imagery, reviewed an entire week of data and found the same object following the predicted path of 3i Atlas. In the footage, the point of light seems to move in a retrograde direction, faster than the background stars and right where astronomers expected the interstellar comet to be. So far, there's been no official confirmation from NASA or ESA. But if verified, this would mark the first time an interstellar object has ever been captured in coronagraph imagery. A rare glimpse of an alien comet skimming the bright veil of our sun. Meanwhile, something even more dramatic has emerged. The interstellar comet 3i Atlas has been photographed blasting a jet of gas and dust straight toward the sun. A composite image taken with the 2-meter twin telescope at the Tayday Observatory captured 159 exposures of 50 seconds each, revealing a fan-shaped stream erupting from the nucleus in the sunward direction. The jet appears to extend up to around 10,000 kilometers from the comet's surface. In other words, it's behaving exactly as a comet should under extreme conditions. And yet, earlier this week, the NASA-backed International Asteroid Warning Network launched an emergency defense probe after 3i Atlas exhibited unusual behavior. Yes, IAWN, operating under the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, has launched a coordinated planetary defense campaign to track 3i Atlas and test the global response framework. This marked the first UN-backed observatorial campaign for an interstellar object. 
The agency emphasized that this campaign should be seen as a practice for potential future threats. In that spirit, two of the most advanced spacecraft ever launched, Hera and Europa Clipper, are now lined up for a remarkable journey. According to recent modeling, both craft will be in positions that possibly allow them to fly through or very near the ion tail of 3i Atlas as it speeds toward the sun. Hera has a window between October 25th and November 1st, and Europa Clipper between October 30th and November 6th. If either spacecraft manages to sample that tail, measuring charged particles, magnetic distortions, or heavy ions not normally seen in solar system comets, it will be the first time humanity has ever intercepted material from an object born around another star. The European Space Agency has also confirmed that its Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE spacecraft, is preparing to aim its instruments at interstellar comet 3I Atlas. The probe will observe the comet between November 2nd and 25th, right as it reaches its most active phase. However, JUICE is currently using its large high-gain antenna as a protective heat shield which means data can only be transmitted back to Earth through a smaller secondary antenna. As a result, we won't see the findings from these observations until early 2026. Every discovery deepens our view of the universe, a vast frontier we can study all we want, yet never cross. But what if you could take command? That's exactly what Foundation Galactic Frontier offers the chance to traverse entire galaxies right from your phone or PC. As a space trader, you'll be piloting your own ship across dozens of galaxies. You'll build your fleet, recruit allies, explore new worlds, and decide whether to trade or fight your way through the stars. And just FYI, you won't be restricted to ship battles in orbit. Foundation Galactic Frontier lets you lead your hero squad into ground combat on exotic planets, a dual battle system of the new generation of space-themed mobile games. You'll build your flagship from scratch, designing over 30 unique rooms, labs, crew quarters, command hubs, and assigning crew to specialized roles. It's the first ever mobile game adapted from Isaac Asimov's Foundation, rebuilding the golden age of space opera and bringing thrilling space experiences to your everyday life. Alongside new faces, you'll meet legends straight from the novels and TV show. You'll cross paths with classic characters like Harry Seldon, Bell Rios, and Hober Malo, each representing powerful factions you'll have to balance between. Even the mule appears, this time on a quest to find the second foundation with a brand new plan. The game is already featured in the App Store in over 180 countries, so step into Foundation Galactic Frontier and explore countless paths and possibilities. Download the game to get free hero and battleship and use our exclusive code TERRITORY to get extra resources. Meanwhile, Avi Loeb has suggested that the international community should stay alert and develop contingency plans in case 3i Atlas turns out to be a so-called black swan event, a rare high-impact occurrence that's nearly impossible to predict but seems obvious in retrospect. In Loeb's view, the comet could appear natural at first, yet potentially hide something unexpected a kind of Trojan horse scenario that challenges our assumptions about what we're really seeing. The most uh, puzzling uh, aspect of this object is that its uh, trajectory is lying in the plane of the planets and it's coming uh, pretty close to three planets, uh, Mars, uh, Venus and, and Jupiter, and uh, that suggests maybe it has some purpose. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that the object itself would deviate from its path. It could also release uh, some uh, smaller objects that would uh, use this maneuver uh, close to the sun and we just need to monitor and see if there is uh, some unusual activity either around the object or coming towards planets. You know, there are orbiters around Mars that we are monitoring the sky around the, the Earth with uh, three observatories of the Galileo project and I asked my research team to check for any unusual activity. Uh, gladly, um, Yesterday, we had the, an announcement by the International Asteroid 
warning uh, network that will uh, establish a campaign uh, coordinating observations from all around the globe in trying to get as much data as possible about the motion of this object because as it gets close to the sun actually a week from now uh, on uh, October 29th uh, it will be at a distance of 203 uh, million kilometers from the sun that is the best point to have a maneuver uh, to uh, use an engine that would either uh, give a thrust object in the direction of its motion, in which case it will gain kinetic energy, or do the reverse, in which case the object would break and perhaps even release some mini probes towards the planets if it's technological. So we would like to know as much as possible about its future path, about its the nature of material coming out of it. Uh, it's, you know, the beauty of doing science. Every time we've looked at it, we have found something new, something that doesn't quite fit the rule book. Like when scientists analyzed its spectrum, they found that 3i Atlas contains more nickel than iron, an unusual ratio not seen in any comet observed so far. Even the previous interstellar visitor, 2i Borisov, didn't show this pattern. And now a new observation, published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, shows that 3i Atlas is behaving nothing like the comets we know. It's blasting out water into space like a fire hose, while it's still nearly three times farther from the sun than Earth. At that distance, normal comets are silent blocks of ice. This one is alive and spewing. Using NASA's Neil Garrell's Swift Observatory, researchers looked for the faint glow that signals water being released. Since direct water vapor is hard to detect, they tracked hydroxyl gas, which forms when sunlight breaks apart water molecules. And sure enough, they found it. Clear evidence that 3i Atlas was shedding water long before it should have been warm enough to do so. How much water are we talking about? About 40 kilograms per second. That's about what a fire hose would spray if you pointed it into space. At that rate, scientists estimate that about 8% of the comet's surface must be active, a surprisingly large fraction compared to the 3 to 5% typically seen in comets from our own solar system. So what's causing all that activity so early? Normally, water ice on a comet only vaporizes when it gets close enough to the sun for temperatures to rise. But 3i Atlas seems to have a different mechanism. Near-infrared observations from Gemini South and NASA's Infrared Telescope Facility revealed that its coma is filled with tiny ice grains and clumps of frozen material. These chunks, once exposed to sunlight, heat up and release vapor on their own. Think of them as miniature geysers floating around the comet, venting water even when the main body stays cold to sublimate directly. This behavior might explain why the comet appears so active from such a great distance. It's not just one solid block of ice, it's a swarm of icy fragments, each one contributing to the outburst. Isn't it fascinating that every interstellar comet we've discovered has defied what scientists expected? Oumuamua showed no signs of ice at all. Borisov was loaded with carbon monoxide, and now 3i Atlas is venting water from a distance where no comet should be active. Speaking of defying expectations, the James Webb Space Telescope also caught something odd about 3i Atlas's chemistry. The interstellar objects seem to have a high ratio of carbon dioxide to water, meaning its composition leans heavily towards carbon-rich ices. That ratio could hint that the star system it came from had a colder or more carbon-dense environment than ours. What do you guys think? Comment below to let me know. If you like our content, consider becoming a channel member. It helps us keep the coffee flowing while we make more videos. And don't forget to subscribe to Territory, because this is your space. Once again, thanks to Foundation Galactic Frontier for sponsoring this video. The link's in the description. Jump in, claim your launch rewards, and I'll see you out there among the stars.